Well, 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 what have we got here? Not the prettiest looking panel, but it is a work in progress. This is my build of the classic Buchla low pass gate. I'd like to give my thanks out to Matthias at Phonic uh, with the Phonic website, Peter Grenader, and of course Don Buchla. And this module wouldn't be possible also without the, um, the mod from Mark Verbo. So many thanks to you guys. Uh, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with this, and uh, I've built this from the PCB up. Um, started with Matthias's design and started uh, doing some mods on my own and to have what I'm going to show you today. This is the classic low pass gate. It does have the resonance mod and um, the resonance mod really makes it sound very wonderful. Instead of using the classic VTL5C3 Vactrol, I use the VTL5C4 which is the same slower Vactrol used in the MOTM410 and uh, the PS3100 resonators if you go with the classic sound from the Korg PS series. This gives it a slower response, hence the name slow pass gate. Um, let me go ahead and get through some of the settings here so you can check this out. It does also do amplification, uh, gating on and off, but I really find the slower version more useful as a filter, as you'll see here. I'm going to go ahead and turn the offset up here, which is uh, essentially the frequency control. in the setup here. There's a VCO being controlled by my MFOS sequencer and the only CV going into the filter here to uh, give that envelope type sound is the trigger from the sequencer. All of the decay is due to the Vactrol. One of the reasons Vactrols are desirable, desirable for us uh, in synthesis. So it, it gives you a delayed response. Let me sweep the frequency up really quick and pull it back down and you'll hear this. So even though I'm essentially yanking the control up and down, you hear a fade up and a fade down, and that's due to the delay of the Vactrol. Where this really gets interesting here, let me turn the resonance up, and uh, you can already hear the bubbliness kicking in. Uh, one quick thing to mention, there is a deep normal switch over here. And what this is, is this essentially just switches the offset of the range of the offset. So it pulls the frequency down. Uh, that allows me to kind of go between the VCA kind of mode uh, and the frequency mode and set the offset in a range where it's more useful for me for, for both of the areas. So back to this. Now that I've got the resonance turned up, let me go ahead and sweep the offset up and you'll hear how this is different from other low pass gates out there. One filter on the market that's very similar to this is the Borg filter from Wired, Grant Richter and his wonderful design. Um, definitely, uh, I have one of the first generation bo uh, dual Borgs, and now they're released in single format as the Borg 2, which uses a different Vactrol. Um, excellent filter. If you uh, don't want to do the DIY thing, get on to uh, Wired.com and get one of these because it's a wonderful addition to uh, any synth setup. What I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll change the sequence up a little bit here. Another interesting side note is the sequence from the, the CV from the sequencer is going through a wired uh, blast and mini wave, it's serving as a quantizer only. So just by changing the scale on the mini wave, I was able to completely change the sequence. So just another use out there for those of you who are kind of on the fence about whether or not to get a mini wave. Oh, 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 oh,
Change that sequence back here. So all this has right now is one CV input, one in, one out. I'm going to build this into a fleshed out two-space panel with three audio inputs, two CV inputs, very similar to your typical um, MOTM founded filter design in a two-space five unit panel. Um, let me show you the back of the unit here. This is a PCB that I had designed myself uh, with the help of some other designs out there on the internet. And you can see the two Vactrols here. You can see the quad op amp. Uh, you can get these made at expresspcb.com. I don't have any plans to sell this filter commercially um, with respect to the fact of the copyrights involved. And uh, really, is that essentially, I did very little work on this other than uh, build it out and make this video for you here today. Everything else is commonly available on the web. If you do have questions about the PCB file, please uh, email me here at YouTube, or you can reach me at djthomaswhite at yahoo.com. Thanks very much for stopping by.